Hey, welcome to KC Grandpa Tech, where we talk about tech, geeky stuff, and even much, much more. Hey, listen, many of you, like myself, have discovered that a lot of the products that are coming out now no longer have the 3 8 audio jack, microphone jack on the side. Some time ago, I did a review of a small product, USB, that allowed you to plug both a microphone and a uh, speaker or earphones into it which is great for gaming when you don't have that ability. You have a nice gaming laptop, but you don't have a way of hooking up your microphone or your headset onto it, and it worked great. But recently, some people have asked me to review a new product uh, to, that allows me not only to connect that, but also allows me to control the volume, turn on the microphone, turn off the microphone right from the device. So we're gonna get into that today. So before we get started, Please hit the like button. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, and put any comments after this video of what you'd like to see possibly reviewed or any suggestions or how you've used the product and what you think of it. Anyway, let's get into that right now. All right, so what I want to talk to you about is a USB adapter that allows you to plug your 3.8 uh, audio device such as the microphone speakers earphones into it this is great for gaming you know if you get a gaming laptop but you didn't come your laptop didn't come with a 3.8 plug on the side you can use one of these to plug in and uh, which is great with gaming headsets you know you plug in this USB into the computer laptop tablet and then plug your two set headset into it and that's great and the one that I did a review works great but you have to use the controls inside of the um, device to be able to control volume and such so anyway someone asked me to review this other product uh, and you can see it's very similar it plugs in and the main difference is is this one has the ability to turn off the microphone or the earphones and you have a volume up and a volume down control, um, which makes that really, really nice when you're doing it. So let's take a look at that right now. Now, our, this is the second device, the one that has the multiple controls on it. Allows you to take hook it directly to your USB, and then it has the three, the two 3.8 slockets, one's for your microphone, one's for your audio out. Now, to make this simple and make it easy for you to see, uh, rather than plugging it into a laptop, and you wouldn't be able to visualize this very well, what I'm going to do for this demonstration is I'm going to hold it, and, I'm, and I run an extension cord, uh, USB, to directly to the computer so that you can see this. Now, as I plug it in, you'll see the first thing that happens is you have a power light, which is fantastic and then you have a, a device on and off light for the microphone and you have a mic on mic off um, speaker or earphone out so wax on wax off and you have a volume control up and down for the earphones so obviously then of course you would then be able to take a gaming headset and plug your microphone into it and then your uh, earphone set up into it and you would be good to go and you could control your volume by doing this up and down and then you could turn your microphone so as you can see right here this you can press this and then you would have an indicator light indicating that the microphone is turned off. Uh, you could, but pressing this, there is no indicator light. You would just have the sound turned off your output. So that's really convenient if you happen to be using the microphone and you want to be somebody saying something to you. You could press it off right here. Well, that's a really nifty feature. So. You'll need to do some checking and setting and setting levels for using this device. Uh, you'll go to control panel, first thing, and locate sound. Open sound if you're on Windows 10. 
of course, here on another device, you'll have to set it. Let me bring sound over to you so you can see it. Okay. And if you come over here and look, you'll discover you'll need to select speakers, USB plug and play sound. That's the name of this device. And then you can play through this into this output of the USB device, which you've plugged into and you will have no issues and you'll be able to also see how it's working now for recording since i have a microphone hooked in right now it's it's selecting the life cam microphone but we're going to go down here and find here's usb plug and play okay we're going to select this device and we're going to select this one as set default all right see it now I have it plugged into and if I talk into the microphone you can see the levels and you can adjust those levels by clicking on it go to levels and you can adjust your levels of how much gain you're going to get on that and you can set various custom levels now That is a wonderful thing. Now, if we look at it, we can see that that's working. Now, as I told you before, let me transition for a second real quick. On the device, It has a microphone on and a microphone off. So if I press this button here, which is my microphone switch, now if I come back to here and I look at my microphone gain and I speak into it, you can see it has turned the microphone off. That's right here. That's Pretty, that's a good thing when you when you want to be able to turn the microphone off and then your microphone itself doesn't have a on off switch or a mute switch. The other nice thing is that again the same thing you have a switch here that you'll be able to turn off the microphone the speaker out if you want to and you have a volume up and a volume down. So if your headset doesn't have a volume up or volume down, you you can use this instead. That's pretty good. You can see what I'm talking about right here. Let's finish up on this. So that's it for this episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to it. I hope this content has been useful to you. These are two tools you can use, again, if your laptop, uh, tablet or other device does not have a USB uh, 3.8 input that allows you to use and connect to this device. The other thing, of course, is that the difference between the two devices is one uh, has controls on it, the other one doesn't, um, which makes it really nice and um, accessible. I will leave you the names and, and some places you can buy these two. Um, the, the prices value va uh, vary anywhere from two to thirty dollars, depending upon where you go. You can find it on eBay, you can find it on Amazon, you can find it on at Staples. Um, I'll give you the description, and you'll be able to look it up yourself. Um, I won't leave a Amazon description because I don't. Um, I feel that Amazon's been getting too much attention and and has gotten too much power, but that's a personal thing. At any rate, that being said. Uh, Again, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, this is Casey from Casey Grandpa Tech Out.